Good morning, I'm Lanise Collins and this is SDG Update, brought to you from the SDG Media Zone in New York. More than 2,000 delegates from around the world, from different countries, cities, businesses, and community organizations are in New York for a 10-day meeting to consider how to speed up efforts to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. The initial discussions of the High-Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development have focused on water and sanitation. SDG Update and the SDG Media Zone will be looking at these issues in depth. But first, some Sustainable Development News Briefs. The world will face a 40% shortfall in freshwater resources by 2030, according to the latest estimates provided by the UN and a high-level panel on water experts. With population growth, agriculture, urbanization, industrial production, and pollution and climate change threatening the natural systems that supply water, the experts say the world is careening towards a global water crisis. Presently, at least 2 billion people drink water contaminated by feces, and 4.5 billion people lack access to adequate sanitation facilities. Low-quality health care is increasing the burden of illness and health costs globally, according to a new report by the World Bank, OECD, and the World Health Organization. Inaccurate diagnoses, medication errors, inappropriate or unnecessary treatment, inadequate or unsafe clinical facilities or practices, or providers who lack adequate training and expertise prevail in all countries. The situation is worst in low and middle income countries, where 10% of patients can expect to acquire an infection while in hospital. Well, that number is just 7% in high income countries. The world is eating more fish today, and fish consumption is expected to grow by 20% by 2030. But according to the FAO's State of the World Fisheries and Aquaculture Report, future growth will require continued progress in strengthening fisheries management regimes, reducing loss and waste, and tackling problems like illegal fishing, pollution of aquatic environments, and climate change. Just 40 years ago, 90% of monitored fisheries were being utilized at biologically sustainable levels and just 10% were being fished unsustainably. Today, about 60% of the major commercial fish species are now being fished at biologically sustainable levels. A third are being fished at biologically unsustainable levels. The most unsustainable fisheries are in the Mediterranean and Black Seas, the Southeast Pacific, and Southwest Atlantic. With us here today to discuss the present progress of clean water and sanitation is Stefan Uhlenbrook, Director of UNESCO's Global Water Assessment Office. Uh, Stefan, thank you so much for joining us. And first wanted to start off by asking you, is there a global water crisis and what does that mean? Mm. Yes, there is. And we should not underestimate that global water crisis. Today, more than 2 billion people out of the 7.7 billion people we have face every year very severe water stress. Not only these uh, 2 billion people then uh, facing the water stress, we also have 844 million who do not even have access to basic water supply for their personal use. And another, uh, well if you say safe sanitation, it's more than 4 billion people who actually do not have uh, safely managed sanitation facilities. And that, that is very serious. That causes the death of more than 1,000 children a day. Uh, many people uh, have significant problems with uh, health. And furthermore, we should not forget that the water crisis is not only for the people, but it also hits the whole economy. You know, it has impacts on lack of cooling water for energy production. It slows down economic progress. It slows down uh, development in general. So there is a global water crisis, yes. Well, it's, this is very much a cross-cutting issue, uh, looking at clean water and sanitation. Yeah, absolutely. But it's, it's the clean water and sanitation for personal use, but we should not uh, forget that overall everywhere is water. To produce my shirt, it's, uh, some 3,000 liters of water are necessary just for the cotton to grow and to produce that shirt. So um, it's, drinking water is very important, but water is everywhere. Great. What are uh, member states in the international community uh, doing to address this crisis? Well, through the, uh, having a, a single SDG, SDG number six on uh, for for water and sanitation that helps that that puts uh, emphasis into that direction. It helps to create political will to make a change. Overall, our recent assessment, the so-called SDG six synthesis report, which we just launched yesterday at the HLPF, demonstrates that while we are making good progress in many directions, we are off track. 
We are really off track when it comes to ecosystem management. There we, we observed a decline of the um, aquatic ecosystems, or the wetlands in particular. We are off track when, it, when you look at the speed, how we would like to serve the communities with uh, water supply and sanitation. We are off track when it comes to the speed, the way we establish integrated water resources management. So it goes the right direction in many, for, for many of these topics, but we need to really accelerate to get there by 2030. And what are some things that member states can do to help us reach that goal by 2030? <clears throat> Well, I guess it starts with political will. If that will, if the awareness is there and the will is really there to change, uh, a, lot of, a lot of things can happen. Furthermore, we need more resources to solve the global water crisis. Uh, there's different numbers uh, available, some say 500 billion or so, but it, it's, it's difficult to give you an exact number. But what we see, particular in the countries where the water crisis is very severe in the developing world, uh, it's not only a question of ODA, of official development assistance. No, it needs that, that blended financing approach of international financing, but also utilizing domestic financial resources, utilizing international repayable finance or loans. And to do that, uh, we, we need an enabling environment to, uh, to do so. And that has to do with regulations, has to do with sector reforms and, and many things that need to be improved. A lot of work still to be done, but uh, it's probably doable by 2030 if we step those things up, if we speed up uh, our rates yeah. of, of work and progress. Yeah. Great. Stefan Uhlenbrook from UNESCO's uh, Global Water Assessment Office, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. That's all for today. We'll be back with tomorrow with another SDG update.